Hi, just a yet another follow-up video because there's always a couple of people in the comments who want to nitpick about something. And fair question, okay, um, uh, people were saying, a couple of people were saying that um, it makes a, that my, that the temperature difference I'm now seeing, the 10 degrees C temperature drop I'm seeing by rotating the fan from this side, which is pushing air in that direction, to this side, which is pushing air in that direction, that that's not what was causing the difference. The difference is I physically rotated the heatsink and one of the copper heat pipes on there, one of the four copper heat pipes on there is damaged. So there's a, you know, different die spots. So, so now it's on a physically different die spot on the CPU. I can't remember what one it is. I think it's the outer one, is it? Anyway, it doesn't matter, right? It's physically on a different die spot on the CPU. So um, that's what's making the difference. Well, <laughs> no, I greatly doubt it. <laughs> I'm willing to back myself here, which is why I'm doing a video. Now, before, before it was on this side and it was blowing in this direction and I, can and I could physically feel it before. I could physically feel the heat coming off the GPU card. And of course you're gonna get heat coming off the GPU card. And that is going to raise the inlet temperature of the fan. So if the fan's on this side here, it's the inlet temperature of the fan is going to be warm because it's right next to the GPU here. Of course it's going to be greater. Whereas on this side here, um, it's actually getting, this is actually a, there's actually a grill here on the, um, on the top side. So it's pulling the cool air in from the top here. And I can physically feel it actually dragging the air in from the top here. And it's basically coming from ambient room temperature. Was it 23, 24 degrees here in the lab at the moment? I don't have aircon on. Haven't started that, it's not summer yet. Um, so uh, yeah, it's pulling in the cool air. This, when I had it before, this easily felt 10 degrees difference. So that would, if your inlet temperature changes by 10 degrees C, then of course you're gonna see a 10 degrees C differential rise in your um, in your actual measurement, in your CPU measurement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna physically um, move this fan around. So I'll get it, get it off the clip here. And, oh, can I do this without, ah, okay. And I'll physically, there you go, it's a Noctua NFP12. Uh, so for all you, are, no, is that, yeah, 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 it's gonna fit, it's gonna fit, no worries. All right, so hang on, I'll just whack that around there. There we go. Fan is now on this side, okay? And it is now gonna push air out from here. It's gonna, this is the inlet temp, okay? And, uh, well, I've gotta reseal it, right? So I've gotta reseal the whole thing, okay? So I'll put this back on, because it does make a big difference um, having the seal uh, actually on there, of course. Actually, I'll tell you what. I can't actually remember if I rotated that or not. I don't know, because I, I physically took the fan off. I didn't rotate, I physically took the fan off, so I might have, it may actually be in the original location. Anyway, look, let me show you, right? So I'll put, I'll stand it back up, and just so we've got the same orientation, because that's gonna matter. And bingo, there you have it. Proof positive that the fan location is what makes the difference. I'm now at over, look, 83, I, I am sorry, 80.3 degrees. Basically where I was before, I was measuring 81 degrees. So it's back where I was measuring before. And with the fan on the other side, it drops to 71 degrees C. It makes a 10 degrees C, roughly, differential. And you can physically feel that with your hand with the inlet temperature. I don't have to get out my thermal camera. Sorry, this isn't feel a vision But yeah, if, if obviously, if it's like, what, what, what is it, two inches away from the GPU card, the GPU card, the back of that GPU card gets hot. So the inlet temperature and, and it's, of course, that heat is going to rise as well. So the, and that inlet temperature, a cup of the fan, is your, your inlet, if your inlet temperature is 10 degrees uh, C more, for example, then you're going to see a 10 degrees C differential here above whatever, you know, it's getting it in from externally from just the room here because it's sucking it in through that top 
vent. It's, you know, there's a little bit of wiggle room there for, you know, the thermal circulation in the case and other, you know, things. But basically, yes, the fan location matters. 10 degrees C difference there. So anyway, it's an interesting question. Hope I've answered it. No, makes no difference with that uh, crushed heat pipe. So it's it's not a problem. It's um, obviously w w when I'm rendering my videos now, it gets like 65 uh, under 65 degrees C. So in practice, even with the damaged heat pipe, I've gone from you saw it. It was like it was pushing 90 degrees. So I solved it with the, by redoing the thermal paste. I got like a 10 degree C drop, and then by reorienting the fan, I got another 10 degree C drop, roughly. So there you go. So I'm pretty much, or even more than that, 90 down to like sub 65 now, under 65 degrees C uh, for uh, during my um, CPU rendering. So totally happy. Um, I probably don't even, if I can get maybe a bracket. Um, some people said, well, why don't I bodge in that um, <laughs> dark rock uh, thing or whatever, bodge it in. Some cable ties, she'll be right, or machine something to, you know, 3D print something. Oh, and it's like, Nah, I don't know. Maybe if I can get the right uh, clips for it, I might bother. But meh, in uh, practice here, I, I'm good to go. So anyway, catch you next time.